Around the triad, the signs of an imminent election are hard to miss. And even though there is not a presidential race on tomorrow's ticket, the Guilford County Board of Elections director says there is a lot to keep an eye on and a lot to do to get ready. Election day is hours away. This is a primary. This is um, within each party. There's going to be um, you know, kind of party versus party to, to, to eliminate candidates for the November general. With polls opening early Tuesday morning, elections officials are all hands on deck now, checking in with precinct workers and prepping for any obstacles that may arrive. Charlie Collicott is the director of the Guilford County Board of Elections. You know, unlike a presidential, we don't have that big top of the ticket presidential. However, both parties have big Senate races. Um, there's some, some very interesting county commissioner uh, judicial races. And, you know, everything on here is kind of interesting, especially if you like this local stuff. And then uh, there's a bond and a sales tax that, that may draw voters out as well. In Forsyth County, Director Tim Suji is preparing to welcome voters to their polls as well. We're looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be a steady day, a fun, exciting day. Suji says, however, in Forsyth, they're still looking for volunteers. A lot of our precinct judges are already out at the polling places getting it set up. Um, I will say this, Leanne, um, we are having some folks that are that were appointed as precinct judges that are calling out already. And so um, I just wanted to put that word out there that if anyone's interested in serving as a precinct official for tomorrow's election day, we're still accepting names and uh, we'll be glad to get you on board. In Forsyth County, nearly 14,000 ballots have already been cast ahead of election day in the early voting period. And 26,000 early voters have already cast ballots in Guilford County. It's crazy. There's a lot of stress and a lot of pressure and we kind of build this event and then and then it's over and there's this sense of relief and accomplishment. Polls open at 6.30 a.m. on Election Day in Greensboro. Leanne Denier, WXII 12 News.